I'm watching this documentary. <coughs> this is just my channel. Um, it's about Nazis in America. Or Nazis. They, they, these people are not Nazis. The Nazis died out in the last remnants of them in like 47. The werewolves. Um, so it's, it's Louis Thoreau from the BBC going around California, Southern California, and interviewing skinheads and self-identified Nazis and Tom Metzger. Um, <laughs> I didn't know I, I had any respect for Tom Metzger, but it went out the window completely with this, with watching this, Louis Thoreau, and it's, I think it's called Louis and the Nazis. It almost sounds like a skinhead band, Louis and the Nazis. <laughs> but I, I had seen uh, uh, an investigative report about um, Tom Metzger and White Aryan War, White Aryan Resistance, and about um, oh, I know his name. Um, I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, du three dudes in Seattle beat to death in Ethiopia. Uh, and the Southern Poverty Law Center um, sued Metzger because he was putting out racist propaganda. Which I think that's kind of crap, but whatever, you know. It's, you know, it's like... J, you know, suing J.D. Salinger for, or putting him in prison for shooting John Lennon, you know, that, that, uh, yikes. Is that the guy, he read Catcher in the Rye and then, I don't know, maybe it was uh, the one who shot Reagan, no, I think Reagan was a freaking cult member of Manson's, whatever, um, Yeah, it's uh, but in this it's just ridiculous, and it, it I was just watching it, and then it just what pissed me off is I'm going to Mexico. These white Nazis going to Mexico and then using the women, American people who are Americans. White Nazis going down there and then. That just sickened me. Um, I don't know if that's kind of my... Maybe that's my racial identity movement showing or something. Um, might be more uh, defensive because I'm... A few different things and people ask me or... or they... I, I've got a lot of weird responses when I tell people what the hell, you know, what, what the background is. Some people actually feel betrayed. Um, most people don't care. Uh, and then most people just say, "Oh, you either look this or that, or that." Oh, you're well, you're. You're obviously like you know. You're obviously Arab. You're obviously Irish. It depends on what I say first. What I which one I talk about first, and they they connect and all. Oh, you know, it's, but um, or if I'm speaking Spanish first, and then they, they, then they're just like oh, but the one thing the point I want to talk about in this is uh, because I was watching, I'm like I gotta say something about this these, this Nazi crap is. Louis Thoreau actually asked, um, not Metzger, but this younger guy, uh, well, he's mid thirties or something, and his brother was there. Uh, it's probably the same age, and 
you know, uh, <clears throat> they're in the, he's in their garage, and he asked them, well, if I, if I were to say I was Jewish, would you have a problem with that? And then they said, well, he said, uh, He said, yeah, I'd throw you, I'd, you know, you know, he said, I'd, I'd beat the crap out of you and throw you into the street. Um, and then he asks you, are you Jewish? And the guy, and Louis says, um, you know what, I'd like not to answer that. And they keep coming back, well, and then they, then they start getting very hostile. And towards him because it keeps coming back up well you're you're I can tell you're look at you look at your nose look at this look at the you're a Jew you're a Jew you know um I hate questions like this because there's if you ask somebody were you molested as a child and they say that's way too personal of a question for somebody to come out of the street and ask me that well, you didn't say no. You didn't say, oh my God, of course not. I mean, it, it, you know, there's, there's questions like that. Like, are you this, are you that? And it's not just, are you a Jew? Um, it could even be, are you, if, like, if I'm arguing with, if I, from arguing politics or something like that, it's like, Somebody, people actually ask people, would, well, do you believe in a god, or do you, are you a Christian, or this and that? I think asking somebody who's an atheist is less, because there's no cohesion of, a, or at least there shouldn't be, apparently with Atheist Plus, now there's going to be. <laughs> um, but atheism isn't a defining character, it's just, uh, are, are you a non-Buddhist? Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, um, but these these you know these things that are positive, positive. Not to say that uh, being molested or being raped or being you know what or whatever horrible thing you know did your parents beat you when you were a child or. Like these, the very intimate questions. You can't just tell, say to somebody, "That's way too personal for you to ask me that." Are you a Jew? Yeah, I prefer not to answer. And then people, they they just, well, you're, you know, it's kind of bullshit. Where do you live? I don't know you. That's way too personal. I've said that to people a couple of occasions. Um, I just thought that, and then they got really hostile. I actually, I actually wondered. I was like, I want to see what it was. No, he's not. And the fun, the, the stupid thing is with the another point. The stupid thing is with this. I what are they white? They keep saying white and Aryan. <coughs> okay. If you say Aryan, you have to go all the way to southern India, as far south as southern India, and as far west as Bangladesh. At least that stretching all the way up into Ireland. And then the people who are of Aryan traits, um, Aryan blood, are, I don't want to say black Americans, but Americans who have been here since. Americans who've gone through, been through slavery and have been in this country for about 400 years, because there's, 
even though it was slave ownership and all, there was still race mixing. Thomas Jefferson um, had uh, children uh, by a uh, black woman. Uh, you have, I mean, basically almost every self-identifying Mexican, because the Mayans won't identify themselves as Mexicans. And they don't like the Mexican government either. Uh, so I'm, I'm a bit uh, skeptical on the whole Zapatista movement, because it began the day NAFTA began. And it seemed like, all right, okay, now that's a reason for them to go in, because Mexico wants the indigenous, the basically the indigenous people's land to go in and drill the oil that's there. Because the indigenous people, some still have rights. So you have mestizos, which is most Latinos. They're what, what's called Latin American, basically. I, re I recognize that, yes, Italy, Portugal, and Spain are... Latino, yes, I realize that. But the mixing that went on that made, if if you if you self-identify as Latino, you're not saying, oh well, I was I'm from Poland originally, but I was brought up in in uh, Paraguay, or you know, I'm from Uganda, but I was brought up in Colombia. Not just a cultural thing, but you're you're actually, it's actually your ethnicity. It's actually your racial lines, this is your heritage, everything, you know. Um, you are intrinsically, I mean, you're Aryan in the characteristics and all the cultural traits. I mean, Mexico is very Catholic. It's, it's most of the Latin American countries. Heavily Catholic, speaks Spanish or Portuguese. Um, their customs, their cooking style, their it's all for the vast majority of everything. I mean, we know bits only through archaeology do we really know about the Aztecs. It's not the all that oral tradition stuff was cut. There's remnants of it here and there, but the same could be said for Druids or Vikings or you know. Um, And with the Vikings, some of their stuff got preserved more because when they became Christianized, they kind of rearranged their text. Beowulf was originally a pagan text, and it was then it was God. It was very, and you can see the the pagan overlays, in it. or it was at least coming from a newly Christianized pagan society. Um. If you're a Nazi, the way Hitler used Aryan was Nordic, which I would debate are <laughs> one of the peoples of Europe that might not be Aryan. The Celts, the Latins, the Greeks, the Arabs, well, Arab is a loose term, the Syrians, the Palestinians, the Libyans, uh, the Egyptians, uh, Mesopotamia, uh, across the Hindu Kush into, into India. But Hitler didn't consider the Slavs to be Aryans. He considered them to be a slave class of people. where we get the word slave, slave. Um, they were a mongrel people. They were, they were, just, they were inferior. I mean, he, he, was, he was wiping out the Poles. Why he wanted Poland is because there was a lot of Germans in Poland, just like Czechoslovakia, the Sudetenland. Austria is a German country. Now it's not part of Germany, but it's, they're German. They're German people. 
We're Austrians. Okay, yes, but you're Germanic, right? I mean, not even Germany is called Germany. It's Deutschland. Um, the, uh, I mean, there's Germans. If you're, if you were talking Nordic people, it would be Germans, Scandinavians, um, you know, Finland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark. The Anglo-Saxons, obviously, they'd have to be grouped in as Nordic, um, but not necessarily the Irish, or at least not the Celtic Irish, uh, not the Celts that remain in Britain. Um, I guess they would be, and they were treated as a lower class. Um, the French, you could say, yeah, because they're Franks. Uh, Spain, no. I mean, you could say Visigoths, but the Visigoths didn't. It wasn't the huge. Dis, there was no dis, the huge displacement. Yeah, you got some characteristics of blue eyes and blonde hair and stuff into the Iberian Peninsula. In Italy, you know, you have the same thing with the um, the Lombards. Um, in the Visigoths going there, and but the Visigoths really weren't raping; it was more the the Lombards. But the Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese—that's a very weak link. That would be the same link as is the, you know, like is saying, well, the the, you know, there's there's black people who have green eyes, so there. You know, I mean, that's. Very, I. It wouldn't include all these things, and these skinheads, if they saw Syrian or Lebanese, not all. I mean, you could pick out dark. I mean, Lebanese or dark Syrians or you know whatever. I mean, people naturally. I mean, you could look at. I. I'm not going to show a picture of my family portrait, but if you saw all the people in my family, you, you'd think well, who intermarried who there. Just like I, I mean, there's this is something that I mean, it really struck me when there was Brazilian family. I already talked about that before, though. Um, were same parents, and you had basically different races of kids because down there that's what it's it's intermixed. And even in modern day, you can have two parents of the same, I mean, going back for generations, and their kid has their blah 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 and their kid has blonde hair or their something else and their kid has freckles or their kid has darker skin or this or that. I mean because the genes are so still have all those very traits it's like a, it's kind of like spinning a bunch of roulette wheels you know they're all kind of tilted but still things can happen um but if they were to see an even an Assyrian or Syrian, what about Armenia, the Armenians, Russians, Siberians? I mean, most of Russia is not even in Europe. Greeks, Italians, um, Sardinians, Sicilians, uh, Libyans, this, this European or white or Nordic, well, what if, you know, it, and the, you know, the skin, I, key, I forget his name, but he had a Polish last name, which, why... I get, the only thing about the, the Nazis or anything that I think is nice or interesting, and I know it's very funny that it's, there's something nice about the Nazis because they're evil and needed to be crushed, is the swastika, and I think it's disgusting that it's used like that. That's a symbol of hate. Uh, I think that you... You can't have about 6,000 years of beautiful tradition and then some jackass comes along and 
screws it up. The Baha'i Temple in Chicago has swastikas on it. It has stars of David, it has crosses, it has crescent moons. It has, I feel like I'm going through a list of lucky charms. It has the Hindu Om. It has the Buddha, the Dharma wheel. Um, swastikas were used by, yeah, ancient Europeans. Um, and even till modern times, it was, swastika was used. And it was used all across the Aryan peoples from India to Ireland, predominantly. But it, sh I mean, it shows up in, I believe it showed up in Native American culture. Um, it got to China by way of, of Buddhism, of, of um, you know, the, the, the Aryans going that way. Uh, and I hope by this point, if you think that I, when I say Aryan, I'm talking about someone with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a, like a, 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 a slope nose, the skinny, regular, not like my nose, like the the, the Nordic white boy, I don't know how to describe it. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, I, I think that that's just that sucks that they took a symbol that's ancient and very it, it's a it's a it's cool looking I mean if you see swastikas not in the context of I mean on a Buddha or on in a in a mandala or the ancient artifacts of Europe they look cool it's like oh that's beautiful or the interlocking patterns I mean you see these it's, it's, cool geometric and you had the jackass Nazis mess it up I think it would be awesome to take the power out of that symbol or put positive power back into it start creating why not just the solid black and but actually doing a lot of colors and you do it many lines and everything and not have it be a Nazi symbol I mean there's shops where you can go in and there's the statue of the Buddha and he has a swastika on his head. Because it's not, they didn't, the Nazis did not invent that. I think that's the one, that's one of the things that pisses me off about them. The other thing is the inconsistency. The guy who actually killed, um, oh, I forget his name, the Ethiopian guy. Um, I'm going to remember it. I'm going to remember it once I stop making this video. Um, But, uh, <coughs> I think it was like, it was, it was part of the hammer skins. No, it wasn't hammer skins. Um, but the guy had a Polish last name. He would have been in a slave camp if he was in, uh, if the Nazis caught him. Like, these people who are, oh, I'm a Nazi, this and that. Uh, and then they have, of all things, the Celtic Cross. That there's nothing of there's nothing about that that makes sense. Um, you could say some of the Celtic artwork is similar to the Germanic artwork and the weaves and knots. But if you actually look, if you actually know the difference between the different types of weaves and knots, then you'd know. Okay, that's obviously different, but there's a similarity there. But then again, the Germanic people were coming, I mean, <laughs> they weren't even originally, it's debatable whether they were even from Europe. I mean, they were coming into Celtic territory. Like, the Aryans, the Whites, the... I'd like to go, I'd, I 
I, I wonder if I want if I if I could find like an Aryan I'd like one of these Nazi skinhead meetings and just go there. Be like, yeah, I'm I'm Tom. And see if I could. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I could. Well, I, I guess I wouldn't be wearing this stuff. Well, no, I would be wearing it. I, I'm not going to... I wouldn't take it off to get... Well, if I'm going there to observe, but... I'd love to ask these people. You know, not as confrontational, because I really... If I, if I go ask some skinhead or Nazi on here, it's going to be... They're going to get all up in arms, but... Someone just, in regular conversation, just ask, like... But... He... Hitler massacred... You, you know, like... It wasn't, it wasn't, it's was just the Jews and the, the, how, how many black people did Hitler kill? I mean, wasn't he concerned about reclaiming German territory? I mean, he went crazy because he had syphilis in the brain. He thought he was going to conquer America and the world, and they were going to divide the world between Germany and Japan. <coughs> But it was originally collect, recollecting all the German lands, Germanic lands or, or Nordic lands. Uh, so Germany always had kind of an identity crisis. Uh, Italy, you could kind of say the same thing for, but it's a peninsula uh, surrounded by mountains. So even though it's broken up, and you know you have Florence, Venice, um, you had the city states, the papal states. The Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. Um, they all had a common language, they had common geography. Uh, you know, uh, there was a barrier to the outside, kind of like India with the Hindu Kush Mountains, um, or just the entire Himalayas. You know, just put it that way. But the, there was no, I mean, you had the Austro-Hungarian Empire, you had Germany, and then you had this fractioning, and then you, Hitler had his dreams of reclaiming that. And then, oh, the French, because the Franks, okay. And then, obviously, our brother into the north, you know, the Viking people, which they came from, you know. Then they wanted, of course, they wanted England, because the Anglo-Saxons. It's just, it's just silly. Polish and Russian, Russian, a Russia, a Russian skinhead, a Russian Nazi, a Polish Nazi. Um, if Mussolini and Franco weren't fascists, he might have started exterminating. Please tell me the difference. I mean, if you. I think the skinheads, uh, most Italian. Uh, have they seen, uh, like, actual Italian people who are 100% Italian? I'm not talking to an anomalous person of, like, oh, they were originally 400 years ago, they came from Germany into northern Italy, or. The, no, like, an Italian, real Italian person. That's not, they're nothing Nordic. And it's completely indigenous. It was actually the Germans, the Germanic people that spread and actually wreaked havoc. And when the Greeks and the Latins, the Romans, basically, the Iberian Peninsula in Italy, and all of North Africa under Rome and all the way to into India had these great beautiful carving temples and beautiful works of art and sculpture uh, the Germanic people were living in mud huts and eating dog so <laughs> Sieg Heil to that I think Sieg Heil means uh, hail victory or something like that so we got that on you, pure airy, pure Nordic. You were, I mean, what? What's the? We were Vikings. Oh, so you were 
going through villages raping and killing and plundering like actually like thuggish psychopathic gangs which they always bring up and they have the caricatures of the Mexicans and the, the blacks which is like if you want to take the worst caricature of that right it's exactly what the Vikings were like and that's what they did they, they, they just I mean if we're going to blame any group of, if you want to blame a race for the dark ages the Germans, look at, uh, they, they weren't Latins, they weren't Celts, they weren't Visigoths, Germanic, Vandals, Germanic, <laughs> um, uh, the Franks, Germanic, um, the Lombards, Germanic, the Saxons, Germanic, the Angles, Germanic, the Jews, Germanic, the Huns, Germanic, because it's originally that's where these people came from. It's speculated that blonde hair and blue eyes actually arose in Mongolia, and then eventually thrived in. I mean, there's huge, vast migrations of people that in history people don't think about, like this is our motherland. Well, not really. It came from somewhere else. I mean, even there's even a huge bulk of. African people who have been there for about 3,000 years that originally came from Papua New Guinea. I mean, it's 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 a, if you look at the I mean, look at the migration into America, to the New World. It's just lunacy. Like it's one thing. I mean, I can get where they're coming from of like, uh, of like there being a race war, a boat, and there's realities, but these people aren't living in, these people are being white trash for the sake of being white. You can have, you can not have money and not be white trash, not be the scum of the earth, sit around, drink beer all day. Uh... Blast in loud music, uh, having like five kids out of wedlock, and tattoos all up and down your arms, you know, covered like a carnival, you know, looking like a carny. And you see some of these people, and they're living in like middle class houses or this, or it's, what you, and then going down to Mexico. It, it, I guess this is unchristian. I mean, I guess we'll always hate Nazis because if they ever find out if if they might I might pass for a little bit. But if they find out uh, they'd kill me because I'm I'm the worst thing in the world to them. I'm mongrel blood, I'm mixed, I'm already tainted. I am an abomination. Which they wouldn't even say that about black people. They say, Well they go go back to Africa and, and live there and be free and be happy, but don't bother us. This is our land. Yeah, I know. I already get it. I know. Living in... This is... Living in, living in a country where half the names are French, or a third of the names are French of the states, a third of the names are... Well, Illinois is a French spelling. Colorado means red or painted. Nevada means snowfall. Uh... I mean, it, Florida means it's a flower land. Um, and the nations that were already here, like the Potawatomi, the Iroquois, the Huron, the Apache, Navajo, um, but... Yeah, and that was... Another thing, one time I was sitting down eating somewhere, and I, I slipped up, and I said, "Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Argentinian, and uh, I got Argentinian Colombian ancestry, mainly Argentinian, but you know, 
from South America, so I'm from Syria, and, uh, but I'm also Irish too. And uh, the next day they said, you can't sit with the whites anymore. You have to sit with us. That kind of sucked and caused a lot of tension. I wasn't around there a lot. I was like, this is not the place I want to be, so screw that. Um, but there are tensions like that out there. There, there are, and I don't like people who deny the race. There, there is racial tension, like that guy Obiot, the idiot, or whatever the hell he's talking about. Um, but also people who actively engage in it, but they're, I, what the hell? Like, ah, uh, man. It, there's hatred there, but, the, you know, it is, they are ignorant of a lot. But it's, it's very strange, though. There's some people who are self-identified Nazis that are actually very nice people wouldn't hurt, and, you know, well, they would hurt people, but they wouldn't just attack some someone out of nowhere for nothing. They're self-identified racists. Which, that's fine if you, if you're a racist, but you still, you don't treat people, if, you don't, if that doesn't go into your actions negatively or violently then fine I don't, I don't care then I would never know you were a racist even if somebody told me they were racist but then acted equally to people and not I don't want to say equally to people because obviously if somebody's a jerk to you you're gonna you're gonna be like shut the hell up or something like that but you know judge people on their character then they kind of breaks down the whole racist thing doesn't I I've, I've actually met people like this so I can say somebody's they're racist but they're not a bigot it's, it's, it's kind of fun <laughs> when you think about it but um, yeah it's I, I don't know I guess this is my response to the video it's what the fuck it's 38 minutes long I'm just utterly confused, and then pissed off, kind of, because they've taken the swastika, which is a cool image. <coughs> um, they don't know what the hell, I mean, J.R.R. Tolkien was asked, because the the Nazis really like, because, you know, Middle Earth, that's, that's, a, that's a Nordic that's from the Vikings, and there's a lot of stuff that's I mean, it's almost straight out of Beowulf. I mean, he's translated Beowulf into modern English. Um, there, there's Gerard Ger Tolkien. So, um, so how how are how do you identify as being an Aryan? You know, like ask him about being Aryan. You know, so since you're Aryan, and he stopped me and said, "I'm not Hindustani." which is what it was called, it was Hindustan, before it was India, you know, Hindustani, India, Pakistan, and, and uh, East Pakistan, which then became Bangladesh, um, but yeah, that's, it's a correct understanding of Aryan, because the Aryans broke two ways, and they go back to Persia, I mean, there's people in in Hungary today that that have almond eyes because of the Huns. There's Germanic people who aren't Hunnic that have almond eyes. I this is don't even ask me where I I got this from. There's actually a famous or I don't well I don't know if they're famous or whatever. Um, 
there's a porn star who's who goes under an Asian name and does these Asian films or whatever. Um, but she's actually Hungarian or Czechoslovakian because she looks people look at her and think she's Chinese or something. Oh, this is actually it, it was it was from the. Uh, is it from the National Geographic study or the... Actually, I couldn't even tell you where. I'll... Whatever. Yeah, it was just really weird. I mean, I don't find... I, you, I don't find, um... Japanese women attractive. Or the Asian... You know what gets, I mean, I realize Asia's, China, Korea, J Japan, I don't find those people attractive. There might be, there might, I might wind up marrying a, a Japanese woman in the future, might find one beautiful, but generally not attractive. I get called racist for that. No. I don't think that's racist. Uh -huh. I don't find people who are albino to be attractive. <laughs> I don't, I mean, there's characteristics in people which you wouldn't find attractive, you know? Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, the Nazis, they just really just, what the hell, like, it seems to be growing, too, but, well, at least in California, and, um, uh, freaking Nazis. Oh, and another thing, um, <clears throat> I am for the right to march, and I think it's hypocritical. Though they held up uh, like some parade or something, and the JDL came out to protest. I thought that's the most hypocritical thing. And they're screaming anti-Semites. Most Jews aren't Semites, and Israel is ethnically cleansing Semitic people from their homeland, from their indigenous land. And the Jews claim the right of return because of their religion. Well, Christianity could do the same thing. Indonesians could do the same thing and conquer Saudi Arabia. Well, this is where our religion came from. Not to mention that there were Jews living there. There were Samaritans living there. There, were, there was a huge Christian population there. There was Muslims there. There didn't need to be an. It's it's occupied Palestine. It's. Um, the JDL is a terrorist organization that has killed, has murdered innocent people. And I mean, an, um, a Los Angeles Arab shop owner, gone up, gone up and blown their brains out, not knowing their politics, not knowing who they were, just because they were Arab. Blowing their brains out. Members of the JDL did that. Which Mark Hanna started. Because of the Intifada. Because the, the Arabs got pissed at the Israelis and started rioting. The uprising. Resisting of the expansionism of the Jews. The Zionists. I'm, I'm not saying all Jews. I know Jews that are anti-Zionist. Um... But I think it's totally hypocritical of them. I think the Mutta March. That's their. It's America, and it's totally hypocritical for the JDL, which I think they're they're more dangerous than these these skinhead idiots. Yes, I realize. Personally, well. I don't know.
I mean, they they've wa they've walked into because the JDL and then you had the cock when they were in Israel they were called the cock party, Marikana. Uh, the thing that sprung suicide bombers was um, an Israeli man walking into um, I believe it was the Mosque of Abraham, the Tomb of Abraham, and uh, machine gunning down men, women, and children. You think he killed like 147 of them or something? Because they're they were. I mean, this is taking the command to of of Yahweh to Joshua and saying it applies to modern times, even though all of Judaism said God had expelled them by way of Rome, that they were expelled from the land not allowed to return until the Messiah. There are people damned to wander the earth. Um, and then, when fascism rose up, Zionism came in too. Funny. Or I should say that hypernationalism and then the rise of the nation state, hypernationalism, and then falling into fascism. Same time you had the group like the Young Turks and stuff like this. So when you had Zionists. <coughs> Basically pre World War One, all this stuff culminating. So that's my rambling, weird, 46 minutes, is it 47 minutes, alright, peace to you, may God save Serbia and Syria. Please pray for those who um, are gravely, gravely, gravely ill, dying, or dead, and the relatives or loved ones of those people who are extremely ill or passed away, and for all those persecuted across the world. Peace to you, may God save Serbia and Syria.